Today we're going to be going over Package Tracer 7 and its new additions to IoT. If we go on to the bottom left, we can click on Network Devices and then Wireless Devices, and we see that there's a home gateway, a cell tower, and a central office server. Under End Devices, there's also a wireless tablet and a smartphone. If we add a server and go under Services, we see the new IoT option that allows us to turn the server into a registration server for IoT. Moving on, we can see that the Home, Smart City, Industrial, and Power Grid tabs all have multiple IoT devices at our disposal that allow us to connect them to an IoT network. The old car does not have an interface normally that allows us to connect to a network. This can be changed using advanced options, however, which I'll show you later. Under features, we see that this car increases carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and smoke. These are variables in the packet tracer real simulated world that can be increased if I press alt click and then we'll be able to set off devices such as the carbon monoxide detector and the smoke detector. If we go ahead and look at the portable music player, under specifications, we can see that it is Bluetooth compatible, registration server compatible, it can be turned on and off. If we Bluetooth pair it with a Bluetooth speaker and then activate it, it will then uh, make the Bluetooth speaker play music. We can turn it on and off by alt clicking. It can be locally controlled through a microcontroller unit, a single board computer, or the Thing device. And it also can be remotely controlled through a registration server. Moving on to the physical tab, there's not much to add other than a new adapter. Hopefully in the future there'll be more. Under configuration, we can see that since this device has a fast Ethernet port, we're able to manipulate the IPv4 and IPv6 addresses, as well as activate DHCP. But what's interesting is the IoT server area that is brand new. Now, using this, we can set up this device for a home gateway or a remote server by entering the server address and username and password and then connecting it. Moving on, we can also see the Bluetooth option, which allows us to pair, unpair, and discover new devices. The Attributes tab shows us different variables that this particular device takes up. Now what you don't see up here are the Advanced tabs, which I can view by going to the bottom right of the box and clicking Advanced. Right away you can see the IO Config things editor and programming tags have appeared. If I click on IO config, I can view the network adapter. I can change it if I want. I can add a new network adapter and make it a wireless device. I can add digital slots. I can add analog slots. I can add a USB port. I can take away the Bluetooth capability and then add it again. I can show the desktop tab which as you can see up here allows us to see the command prompt, the web browser, and other apps. We can also change this device from a smart device to a component. As you can see, the physical tab has disappeared when I turn it into a component and will reappear when I turn it into a smart device again. Now moving on, we can see the things editor. The thing editor allows us to add a new state to this portable music player. As you can see, this is the off and on state. So we can add a new state. We can change the slot mapping. We can change the name of the component. We can change the slot number. We could add a new component. So I'm gonna add a speaker. 
under new I'm gonna go ahead and find the speaker icon and I'll add a second state to the speaker icon since we only have the off this will be the on state I can now make it a digital slot and put it under slot 2 but if I go to layout the layouts all wrong they're on top of each other so I can change the layout however I want I'm gonna put them right next to each other under rules we see that we only have rules set up for the portable music player so I'm gonna add two new rules for our speaker now this one is correct because it is low and then it has the off symbol now I want this to change so it's high and has the on symbol oops that didn't go there it is now moving on we can see the programming tab a programming tab is really interesting because it allows us to see the programming for each and every device in our packet tracer world so I can double click on this double click on main and now I can see all the code that's provided and allows this device to run this for example is the Bluetooth code that's on this device and I can take some of this code and copy it and put it into a program of my own or I can just use it as a kind of template and help to help me understand what I need for my own program or if I'm trying to integrate this into a program uh, for my network I can stop and start programs up here using the stop start button I can clear the outputs so I can delete this as well if I want I can rename it I'm gonna X out of this though I'm gonna start a new one though and you can see I can make my own program I can change the name this is these are empty templates for JavaScript Python and visual these are programming languages and now if I come down here we can see all the different programs in packet tracer for all these different devices so these are programs that are pre-written and given to us now I'm going to go ahead and delete this and we're going to move on and look at our components under the boards we can see we have a microcontroller unit a single board computer and a thing well the thing is a blank device that allows us to create our own device it's completely empty we can there's no network adapters no specifications they, it's not really configured there's nothing under thing editor there's no programming to it so we can set up our whole our own device that we customize completely we also have actuators that we can add into our network and sensors some of these are very different from the sensors that we can see in our end devices and some of them are also very similar but these are all set up as components under our power connections uh, we can connect using the octal the IOT custom cable and the USB which are all new connections for our IOT and that concludes the additions to packet tracer